Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Nindoroid Kirby. So yes, here we have Kirby, which is a fairly recently released Nindoroid figure and something that I've been waiting for for a long time. Desperately needed a Kirby for my Smash Brothers slash uh, Nintendo uh, 16 scale collection. And this figure is awesome. I would go so far as to say is if you are a fan of Kirby, you need to get this. Because this is like the ideal Kirby thing. He's just really, really cool. Lots of accessories, um, like magnetized pieces and stuff. Just everything I could really imagine that you would really want from a Kirby figure. So let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation sculpt and details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Kirby. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man. And three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Of course, Kirby is much smaller than a standard six inch figure, and also smaller than a three and three quarter inch figure, but I think he's the right size that he needs to be for a six inch scale or a one twelfth scale kind of setup, as Kirby is just generally depicted as being smaller than the average person size in general. Now let's go ahead and get everything else out of here and just look at Kirby. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin. To be perfectly honest, there's not exactly a lot to look at. Uh, Kirby himself is basically a pink sphere. He's not quite a perfect sphere. He's got a bit of amorphousness to him, but he's basically just a pink sphere. He's got two round spheroids on the sides for arms, and two sort of oblong spheroids that are red for his shoes. I know you can't see it, but he's got a weird kind of feel to him. He's like rubberized maybe i don't know it's not a really thick coating but it's like he's coated with something it's not unpleasant or anything it's just different and then of course he's got his face there in the center uh, obviously not a lot of detail but uh, also the exact amount of detail you need he looks exactly like kirby there's not really anything to complain about but there's not exactly a lot to look at there either um he can't really stand on his own which is why he's on his stand you can kind of get him to sit down, but he's not going to just be standing without the stand, which is fine. You can also get him to fly and stuff like that, too, so that's all cool. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in on all of his alternative faces. Kirby comes with four alternative faces. He has his standard sort of open mouth smile. He's got a angry eyebrows, fire-breathing sort of head. He's got his big open mouth sucking in sort of head, and then he's got his... Uh, uh, full mouth with the little cheek sort of poking out thing for flying or for having just eaten something. So those are all cool. You essentially just kind of twist the front of his body off and put a new one on. Um, so they are like half the size of the figure. But I think that's a reasonable range of faces and it's got the stuff in it that I wanted. So there's no real complaints there. And of course the detail on them's nice. Uh, the, the eyes looked fine and then of course... Uh, the only one that actually has any sculpting is the one with the big mouth. It is actually sculpted inward, so there is some depth there, but all the rest of them are pretty much just smooth. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Articulation-wise, Kirby doesn't really have any standard articulation. I don't even know if you would call what I'm about to talk about articulation. But his arms and his feet have little magnets in them, and then he has some sort of magnetic uh, or metal core inside of him. I'm not entirely sure what it is because I'd have to like crack him open to see exactly what was in there. But he's got something metal inside of him and you can pretty much just move his arms and legs anywhere on his body you want them to be. Um, so that's kind of articulation and it's also really, really cool. Uh, there was a really old, uh, well, maybe not really old, there's an old uh, magnetic Kirby figure that did the same sort of thing that I wanted for a long time, but it's absurdly expensive and really hard to find. So I'm really glad that they decided to do this, because I think it's one of the best ways to keep Kirby's appearance seamless and still give him mobility. So you, you can pretty much put him in any pose you really need to, and I think that that is really cool. The only thing that you might can construe as proper articulation is the fact that you can twist his head side to side, because of the way you remove his face. So you might get like some little extra expression out of that. But 
Kirby technically has no real articulation. Now let's go ahead and move on to some accessories. Accessories wise, Kirby comes with two hats, I suppose you can call them. They uh, have little magnets in them and they can be attached to the top of his head that way. You get his sort of a uh, big green hat with the little ball on the end of it. And you get his big fire crown, which has a little bit of transparency to it. And uh, those are very cool. You can just plop them on top of his head. Look really nice. He's got a little partially transparent fireball for the fire breathing. Then you get a uh, alternative hand or arm or whatever, and it's got a little peg on it, and that is to attach his sword and wand to. The sword is slightly metallic, but not overly so, and the wand is a little bit glossy, but once again, not overly so, and they're both painted very nicely. And then lastly, you get his stand, which is a standard Nendoroid stand. The base has lots of peg holes in it. The arm itself has three joints and a little peg that plugs into the back of Kirby. And you get a tiny, smaller stand for the fireball. So all in all, lots of cool accessories and stuff. Very nice. Nothing to complain about there. Let's go ahead and move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Kirby comes in a very large Nendoroid box. You get the big window up there. Good Smile Company logo up there at the top. Lots of Japanese stuff. 544, which is the figure number. Kirby. Kirby's Dreamland below that. And then you get big pictures of the figure there on the side. On the back you get some poses and pictures for the figure and some Japanese warning stuff I can't read. As always, these are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Kirby! Alright, that wraps it up for Kirby. So until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.